x-axis and 9 microcoulombs at 315 centimeters on the x-axis. We're going to introduce a third charge, 7 microcoulombs. We want to place this charge at a location where the net force is zero. Okay, where the net force is zero. And of course, the force we're talking about is the force from Coulomb's law. K Q1 Q2 over R squared, where K is a constant. Q1 and Q2 are the two charges in Coulombs, and R is the distance between the Q1 and Q2 charges in terms of meters. R is in meters. So where should we place this third charge? Well, I'm going to label regions A to the left of four microcoulombs, B in between the two charges, and C to the right of the nine microcoulomb charge. And let's think about what might happen here. If I place the seven microcoulomb charge out in region A, can I have a situation where the net force is zero? The answer is no. Out in this position, the charge is repelled from the four microcoulomb. It's also repelled from the nine microcoulomb. Is it possible I could put the charge out in region C? Well, you'd quickly see the same situation, same problem. The two forces are both to the right. This positive charge is repelled by the 9 microcoulomb. It's repelled by the 4 microcoulomb. And uh, <coughs> we can't have a net force of zero. What about region B? Well, in region B, and I'm going to put the, the uh, uh, possible point right here. In region B, the 4 microcoulomb charge would be repelling the 7 microcoulomb charge off to the right. The 9 microcoulomb charge would be repelling the 7 microcoulomb charge to the left. And yes, now we have a situation where we might end up with the net force being zero if we can find a place where this weaker charge is somehow has the same force on the 7 microcoulomb charge as this stronger charge, the 9 microcoulomb charge. And that's really the reason why I put this uh, dot at, let's call it position X, why I put it closer to the 4 microcoulomb charge. So, we have to add up the two forces and come up with zero. One of these forces will be a negative because it's uh, it's to the left, but uh, our net force calculation, we want to add these two forces up and come up with zero at some position X. So, we might start this way. Um, the force from the 4 microcoulomb charge is 9 times 10 to the 9th. It's 4 times 10 to the minus 6. 7 times 10 to the minus 6 for the second charge. How far away is it? Well, we could put in x minus 5. Uh, this is x centimeters away from my origin. Uh, but I'm just going to save us a little algebraic work here, and I'm going to transform the coordinates. I'm going to change the coordinates so that that 4 microcoulomb charge is now at zero, and out here this uh, 9 microcoulomb charge now will be at 310 in this new system of coordinates. Just shifting the coordinates, perfectly legal. Uh, X is measured now from zero being located at the four microcoulomb charge. Well, so I'm this far away, and I have to square them. X is the distance between the four microcoulomb charge and the seven microcoulomb charge. Now the force from the nine microcoulomb charge, it's pointing to the left, so it is a negative force. I'll put a negative here, and nine times ten to the ninth. 9 times 10 to the minus 6, 7 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs. And how far is this 7 microcoulomb charge from the 310? These two positions have to be subtracted. So we end up with 310 centimeters minus x squared equals 0. Do I have to convert this to meters? The answer is no. I'm going to let x be in centimeters, and centimeters here is fine. If you want x in meters, then by all means go ahead and make this 
I don't like working with decimals, so I'm going to leave this as 310 centimeters. And x will be the distance in centimeters, how far we are away from the uh, 4 microcoulomb charge. Well, a lot of uh, numbers in here. Can we get rid of some of them? Uh, because we have a zero here, I can divide every term by 9 times 10 to the ninth. That'll cancel this. I can divide every term by 7 times 10 to the minus 6. I can divide every term by 10 to the minus 6. So I end up with a simpler expression here. I end up with 4 over x squared. What do we end up with for the second term? Uh, you should have 9 over 310 minus x, that quantity squared. You cannot write 310 squared minus x squared. That's illegal. The distance between the 7 microcoulomb and the 9 microcoulomb is 310 minus x. That quantity has to be squared. So illegal to write 310 squared minus x squared. And we're equal to 0. How do we start solving this? Well, I'm going to uh, add this term to both sides. So I get 4, oops, get on, on the screen here, sorry about that. And we get rid of all the common factors. So 4 over x squared minus 9 over 310 minus x, that quantity squared. It's illegal to write 310 squared minus x squared. We're going to have to distribute in here. But first, 4 over x squared equals 9 over 310 minus x, that quantity squared. So that gets us to this point. Now I'm going to cross multiply. So I'll have 4 times this quantity, 310 minus x squared, equals 9x squared. Should I multiply 4 inside here? No. First, I should square this, this, this parentheses. So when we do that, you should work this out with your calculator. Obviously, I've done this with a calculator in advance. I have to do FOIL. So it's 310 minus x multiplied by the quantity 310 minus x. So I'm going to have 310 times 310. That's 96, 100. I'm going to have the outside and the inside terms multiplied together. That's going to generate a 310 times a minus x and another 310 times a minus x. So I have a negative term here, 620x. And on your own, you could write out the FOIL. Um, but we get a doubling, and it's a negative, carrying that sign along. And then we have to take minus x times minus x. So I get plus x squared equals 9x squared. Now it's time to distribute the 4 through here. I can't divide evenly into the 9, so I'm going to distribute uh, across here. So 384,400 minus 2,480x plus 4x squared equals 9x squared. I'm going to subtract all of these terms. I'm, I'm going to add this one to both sides. I'm going to subtract here and here from the right side. So I end up with 0 equals 5x squared and plus 2480x. And off screen again, sorry about that. And then minus 384,400. I want to solve for x. It's a quadratic uh, equation. We solve quadratic equations with quadratic formula. So x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of a squared minus 4ac, b squared minus 4ac, b squared minus 4ac under the radical, and divide by 2a. So the a coefficient is the 5. The B is 2480. The C is minus 384,400. Well, let's first calculate B squared minus 4AC. So do this with your calculator. And uh, the B is 2480. I have to square that. Then I take, for this term, minus 4 
times 5 times minus 384,400. And I came up with 138384,00. That's the b squared minus 4ac. Now take the square root of that. And what you end up with, I'm just going to write square root of b squared minus 4ac. What you end up with is 3,720. So we've evaluated the square root of b squared minus 4ac. Now I'm going to use that and we'll uh, retreat back up the columns here. So the x is equal to minus b. b is the 2480, so minus 2480 plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. And that square root value is 3720 divided by 2a. a is the coefficient on x squared, which was the 5. If we can get it down here, it was the 5. So 2a, that would be 10. If I use the plus sign in here and do the calculation, I come up with an x of 124 centimeters. If I use the minus sign, so minus 2480 minus 3720 and divide by 10, then I come up with minus 620 centimeters. Quadratic equation has two mathematical answers. Which of these is correct? x is positive off to the right on our axis. x is 0 here, so the plus 124 is there. The minus 620, that's out in region A. There is a spot out here where the magnitude of the two forces is the same, but they're both to the left, so that net force is not going to be zero. So we throw away that answer. Physically, we keep the 124 centimeters. It is a reasonable answer. Uh, it is closer to the um, 4 microcoulomb uh, charge. If I do the calculation 310 minus 124, I find that we get 186 centimeters. So this uh, 7 microcoulomb charge is 124 centimeters away from the 4 microcoulomb charge. It's a bigger distance, 186 centimeters away from the bigger charge, away from the 9 microcoulomb charge. This 124 centimeters is the location where the net force is equal to zero on these, uh, on the seven microcoulomb charge. The net force is equal to zero. So you should uh, work through that. Replay the video if necessary.